What's up geniuses? My name is Adrian hey, Burrow. Yeah. Welcome back to the Road to 100,000 subscribers. Now, today is Tuesday, July 28th. We are here at the shed because like I said last time, we have to clear out some of this dirt here because the beams are rotting and if we let them rot, this thing's gonna fall apart. The back of the shed was not level and this is one of the reasons why. Actually, this is the main reason why. So what we gotta do is we gotta clear out the dirt here fill it up with concrete sorry i don't know if you can see what i'm doing because i can't really see what's going on here i'm trying to talk closer to the mic while i'm explaining this but clear this out fill it in with concrete so that it doesn't keep rotting and then that way it's more level and as you can see we got more we got some stilts over here it's more level if we have concrete there and there won't be any rotting so that's what I'm doing here. I'm gonna be digging out these holes. However, since today's Tuesday, I just uploaded last week's video a couple minutes ago and it already has five dislikes. And when I first uploaded it, like within one minute, it had a dislike. So now that it's only been a couple minutes and it has five, I'm very confused. I don't think that video was a bad video. I didn't have any bad intentions with that video. It's talking about my plan to use TikTok to help grow my YouTube channel. And I'm genuinely confused as to why there's so many dislikes. Or maybe you guys just genuinely didn't like the video. So if you're one of the people that disliked and you actually didn't like the video, honestly, please tell me in the comments what it is that you didn't like about it because I genuinely care about the content that I'm making on this channel. And if you guys don't like the content, tell me. If there's a reason as to why you dislike the video, tell me. But things happen, can't do anything about it really. I can only just accept it and move forward. And it sucks, but hey, what are you gonna do about it? So I'm gonna move on with my day. Gonna try to relieve some of that stress by working on the shed. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Talk to you guys in a bit. All right, so check it out. These are the holes that I dug. I'm tired. I don't know if you can really see it, but I dug three holes. This one could probably be a little deeper, but I'm too tired right now. And this last one over here, my dad's gonna finish, he said. So that's up to him. But these other three holes, I pretty much got done. So it's time for me to go back inside. I'm super dirty. I'm tired. I gotta make sure that I clean myself, get my clothes ready to leave tomorrow because I'm gonna go see my girlfriend in Iowa. And you know, social distancing. I'm not gonna stop at any gas station on the way. I'm just gonna go get my gas first thing in the morning and just drive the whole way. It's a five hour drive, but I could do the whole five hours straight. I do it all the time. So I'm gonna be doing that. Gotta get my stuff ready for tomorrow. Gotta wash myself, probably record some more tomorrow. So today is August 16th. I know it's a huge gap in days. Man, I'm sorry guys. There's been so much stuff going on from my previous videos, you would already know. I've been scrambling so much, trying to get content ready and doing all other things at the same time. So bear with me, today's episode we're gonna be promoting my new single, What Can You Say About Me? No, I'm not gonna be promoting it to you guys. However, I would really appreciate it if you pre-saved it, so feel free to check out the link below. Here's how it sounds like. But today I'm gonna to be working on the promo for the single on my other social media platforms. Reason being is because obviously I want people to be excited for the single. I want it to do really well on Spotify and really well on my YouTube channel. That way more people can listen to it. It'll reach more people and hopefully we'll gain some new subscribers at the same time. So when it comes to promoting music, you're gonna want a really strong campaign. You're gonna want a lot of content to show your fans. Even if you only have five fans, you wanna be pushing out content and being in their face all the time to remind them that you have a song coming out. People will forget, and most of the time, the first time they see your post, they're not gonna do anything about it. You have to keep reminding and reminding to let them know that you're there and to let them know that there's something going on. In this instance, it's gonna be your new single. You don't have to pay for ads to have really good promotion. All the promotion I'm gonna be doing is on my social media platforms. However, it's not just a straight up, go listen to my single, go pre-save my single. I'm gonna be putting content that actually relates to the song but also entertains at the same time to give myself the best chance of getting people's attention. So the first thing I'm gonna do is make a loop preview for Instagram and TikTok. 
I've already done this. However, I haven't added music to it. I just have a loop. So that's gonna be really easy to finish. I was working on that before the power went out. And when the power went out, I wasn't able to finish it for Instagram and TikTok. So I'm gonna be doing that. My Indian friends, all the peeps in India, I understand TikTok is not there anymore. It was banned. TikTok is a great way to get exposure. And unfortunately, some people don't have access to it anymore. The US might not even have access to it anymore soon. More than likely, we're gonna be keeping access because of things that are just going on. The US version of TikTok is probably gonna be acquired by Microsoft or somebody. But even though some people don't have TikTok, there's still other social media platforms that you can promote to that'll still help you out a lot. So everything I'm showing you right now do it for those platforms. And I should mention too that I'm not a professional at this. I'm an independent artist. I'm doing this by myself without a music marketing team. So I'm just trying to share with you the things that I'm doing. Second thing I'm gonna do is do a photo shoot for Spotify and Instagram. I'm gonna be taking pictures on a blank wall that I have over there. Also, I'm gonna be going outside to take pictures once the sun starts going down. I'm gonna dress up a little nicer, make myself look cool for the pictures. I gotta shave but I took a shower. The reason why I wanna do a photo shoot is because I have not updated my profile in a while and Spotify recommends that when you have a new single coming out that you do new photos and refresh your page so that people wanna to go to it more. That'll also give me more content to post on Instagram and other platforms because people like seeing pictures, especially on Instagram. So taking some nice pictures is gonna help with promotion as well because I could talk about it in the caption, but also put a little countdown on the picture itself, like edit it in Photoshop, make it look cool. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a cover art breakdown because this cover art took a lot of time. It's nothing too crazy, but it's still a cool little sketch that I did. So I'm gonna break down how I made that sketch in a small video that I'm gonna put on Instagram, TikTok, all those places. Then I'm gonna do a beat breakdown breaking down the beat of the song, how I made the beat, my intentions with it. Still gonna be a short video, but still putting it on those platforms. And then I'm gonna do a vocal breakdown, how I made the vocals on that song. That's a lot of content for this one single. Many people think that you need a music video, which would also actually really help a lot, but they think you need a music video, you need a lot of money to promote. They think you need a lot of things for marketing. Really all you need is content and to remind people that you're there. You can make content out of anything. So just think of ideas to make content out of your single. Like I said, I'm doing this all by myself. I'm independent. Do I really know what I'm doing? I wouldn't say I'm a professional at it, but this is what I've learned over time. And one thing I will say that I feel like is super, super necessary to say is that do more than what you think you need to do. This might seem like a lot to some people. This might seem like a little to some people. For me, when I do my promotion, I end up doing it thinking that it's enough. And then after the song comes out, I look back at the amount of promotion I did and I was like, dang, I should have promoted that song some more. So I've come to realize that whenever I do promotion, I should be doing more than I think is enough because the more you promote, the more in front of people you're gonna be and the more you're gonna remind them that you're there. So if you post like once about your new single and you think that's enough, it's probably not because most people aren't gonna pay attention to it. So my advice, promote more than you think you need to and make that promo content good. So I'm going to work on that loop that I said I was going to work on. Let's go do it. So as you're watching me edit, I think right now is a good time to talk about my subscriber growth. This is the graph for subscribers gained per day. And as you can see, we've been kind of going down. We're coming back up a little bit, but everything's kind of just been going down. I'm not super worried. We're still doing really good, but obviously we're kind of slowing down and then speeding up. The content on this channel hasn't been super strong. I'll be honest. The past couple of uploads have been less directly related to music, so I am not surprised, but we'll be picking up speed again soon. Hopefully with the release of the single, new eyes come towards the channel, but also with the content that I'm going to be making really soon, I think this channel is gonna be doing well. I still believe in the goal to hit 100,000 by the end of 2020. We can do it. So we got this, no worries. All right, so Instagram slash TikTok promo is done. We're gonna post it on Instagram and TikTok now, get that going, and then we're gonna start with our photo shoot. All right guys, so I'm recording this on my phone because as you can see, I got my camera here and I got the lights set up over here. Ooh, look at that for this photo shoot. Thing is, I gotta shave myself. Like if you can tell, I got like hair right there. Gotta make sure that the hair is not there for this photo shoot because last time I did a photo shoot, I didn't shave, I didn't make myself look good. So I'm gonna make sure I make myself look good right now. So let's get going with this. all the indoor pictures I need time to start editing all right so photo shoot went good the only photos that I really used were the ones that I took outside because those came out really well and those are gonna be my new profile pictures on Spotify so far we did two out of the couple things that we were supposed to do on the checklist but it's all right tomorrow I'll be sure to do the rest of it that way I can have content for the single to come out but the day is done for today my little brother as you wants to come in and say something Hi. 
This is Ezio, if you guys remember him. Probably one of the videos where we were talking about it. I was in the wall. I was like right here. And then, then I was holding the candy. One of you guys know my channel. Ezio. You got water on you. I know. But my first video was the Lucky Black Mod. Oh, and we made that one where we were going to the And probably you guys know me and my brother. You had to watch the whole thing from the Lego because the Lego one just like I did a little ding. I'm six years old now. Or is it like this? How do you do this thing? So basically he's saying he makes his own videos too. But we'll move on to tomorrow. All right, so it's the next day. And since yesterday, we've gotten nine more pre-saves. Amazing. Yesterday we had 27 pre-saves. Now we have 36 pre-saves. Are we gonna reach 100 pre-saves by Friday, which is when the song's coming out? Probably not, but that doesn't mean that we're not gonna try anyway. Every single pre-save counts, and the fact that I have 36 pre-saves is still a really good amount of pre-saves. Now, if you're wondering how to make a pre-save link, I use DistroKid. They provide you with hyperfollow links is what they're called, and basically, this will pre-save somebody's song through Spotify, but what it will also do is it'll automatically make them follow you on Spotify as well. So this could drastically help increase your followers on Spotify, and the more followers you have, the better off you are in the algorithm because one, whenever new songs come out, your followers will be getting that song on their release radar. So if your followers didn't pre-save a song that you've announced, they still might hear it right away once it comes out because of their release radars, which updates every Friday. So I recommend putting out new music on Fridays. Today, I already posted one of those pictures that I took yesterday and I made sure to put in text three days new single. That way people know that there's a new song coming out and it's kind of like a countdown. I'm about to work on the behind the scenes stuff for the single. I'm gonna show how I made the cover art and I'm gonna show how I made the vocals and the beat for the song as well. This way I have more content to release as we're getting closer and closer to the release date. So I'm gonna make sure I do all of that and I'll update you at the end of the day of how many pre-saves we have. All right, so it is the next day and I don't know if you can tell, but my camera is broken. I'm recording right now on my smartphone. Thank you, Google Pixel 4. This is why I use you. But Somehow it just stopped working. So that sucks. I'm gonna have to figure out what I'm gonna do with this camera. But in the meantime, we're recording off of my phone, which is pretty good quality. But 41 pre-saves so far. We gave a good amount. There's still more pre-saving to be done, but so far so good. We also have 434 followers on Spotify. A couple days ago, it was in the 420s. So we're gaining a good amount of followers on Spotify as well. So 41 pre-saves isn't a crazy amount of pre-saves. However, being a small independent artist, that can do a lot for you. If you're trying to get some pre-saves and you're following the things that I'm doing right now, don't be discouraged if you don't get as many. You might even get more pre-saves than me, especially if you do this longer than I'm doing it. And if you post more content than I am, you probably will get more pre-saves. But if you don't get that many, don't be discouraged. Every single pre-save counts. And even if you only get five or one, those pre-saves are gonna be going towards your Spotify. You're gonna be increasing your followers, increasing your stream numbers when the song releases, and overall it's gonna do well for you. So just keep going and keep consistent because one thing for certain is that if you have consistency, you're gonna be seeing more results. I was posting one song a month consistently for a good couple of months back in 2019. I reached a top of like 2000 monthly listeners, but I stopped posting songs and my monthly listeners went down. Now I'm at 500 monthly listeners, so I'm planning on bringing it back up by putting more and more music out there because my overarching goal is to be a full-time musician. We're gonna get there, it just takes some time, and I know you guys can get there too. But when next week comes around, I'll be looking back at what we've done for marketing, seeing the results, and I'll be sure to discuss it with you to see what we did good, what we did bad, and what we can do for next time. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Stay safe out there, make a lot of great music, but most importantly, don't be afraid to show your genius. I